Wow. Favorite memory working with Davey. Davey was a bit of a prankster. He knew that I was always a time bomb about to explode. I went to Robert Yates Racing in March of 91. We immediately started having success. I think the first race together at Darlington, we finished second, top five at Bristol, ran good at Wilkesboro, but hadn't won a race. As fast as we were every week, I'm almost getting a little discouraged that we can't close the deal. So we go out there for the Coke 600. Didn't take long when they dropped that green flag. The only people that can beat us today is if we beat ourselves. Davey Allison pushes the nose of the Robert Yates car out in front. You know, back then, 600 miles was a lot. It was a lot on the equipment. Durability of everything about that car, 25% of what it is today. And you always knew that last 100 miles, you were on borrowed time with a lot of parts and pieces. And we probably had about a half a lap lead late in the race. Here is Davey Allison up in front. Talk about dominating. We'd already made our last pit stop unless a caution comes out. Davey was saying nothing on the radio. We get down to about 15 to 20 to go, and at this point, I think if you'd have thumped me, I'd have crumbled. Because, I mean, obviously, first win and to hopefully do it in the 600 is a pretty big deal. As collected as his dad always was at these times, never a wheel, never a hair out of place. He hadn't said a word probably in the last 30 laps. He came on the radio and said, Larry Mack, you'll never believe what's happening. And my stomach just got lodged up in my throat. I said, well, here it is. Lost a cylinder, got a gear burning up, got a vibration, tire going down. And I was like, what, what? He said, you know, every time I come off turn two and I look over in the infield, there's this Earnhardt fan hanging over the fence, flipping me off with both hands. And I said, Davey, I'm so thankful you shared that with me. I don't know if I could have made it without that information. Davey Allison has done it, and he's done it in style. 600 miles, you don't look tired, are you? I, I could run 600 more right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what winning will do to you. The good news is we went on and, and won the race, but the moments I had with that guy, personally and professionally, when I went to Robert Yates Racing and Davey Allison, it was a career-making move for me, there's no doubt.